Hey, Mr. Lohoff. So it's the video report for <clears throat> Chapter 10 um, for the It's Your Ship. Um, so the chapter basically covered uh, how the captain uh, built up his crew on more levels than just the, the military's levels, um, sending Christmas cards and birthday cards to family members, um, listening to the crew's requests for personalized jackets, um, integrating, <clears throat> saving on the budget uh, by ordering civilian equipment that met or exceeded the military standard at a cheaper price. Um, I believe that this built a relationship between the captain and the uh, individual crew members of the ship and a level of trust uh, as a leader that inspired them to perform better than uh, your average sailor would do for a captain that isn't that involved in their lives. Um, by showing that kind of commitment and dedication to individual sailors and for the uh, cohesion of the ship um, really highlighted the captain's ability to lead and uh, what kind of leader he, uh, that he was, um, really highlighting uh, the service uh, type leader, um, you know, for others. Uh, so reading through the chapter, that ties into the rest of the book because it seems that throughout the book, um, he has a lot of, I guess, techniques um, or skills in identifying the little things that might have a huge impact on the crew. Um, you brought up the moving through into the tax-free zone, um, the night of uh, getting paid so that their the crew's paychecks were tax-free, which is a big deal to your junior enlisted um, and your officers. Um, but I think the chapter 10 just really highlighted the fact that if you invest into the people that are working for you, and they can see that you're willing to invest into them individually um, and bring them together as a team, then whatever your mission is, whether it being on a Navy vessel or in the fire department or, you know, even a Walmart, um, if you're able to inspire and lead and take care of your individual personnel, uh, then they'll come together and they'll put out more effort for you uh, on the back end. Um, so that's chapter 10, build up your people. Um, also taking it one step further into like the, their family lives, um, you know, having interaction with the parents that raised these sailors, um, being genuinely involved in these sailors' lives to make them better people, whether they stayed in the Navy 20 years or four years, um, really just showed a lot of character. And again, that leadership of uh, service, um, being there for the people. Um, you have a job to get done. He's obviously in charge of them overall, but they... Uh, respect him for being able to put forth the effort to make sure they're taken care of. Um, he saved the government some money in doing so, um, was a win-win for everybody, and uh, the end result was having a, a ship that uh, exceeded performance standards uh, for the Navy. Um, so that's kind of my take on Chapter 10, and uh, in the overall book itself is that uh, the captain was very uh, disinvolved and put forth effort in his crew, thus the, the crew put effort into him and the ship. Uh, they took some pride in belonging of what they were doing, uh, the job that they were doing, the mission that they were tasked with to perform, and uh, they did it exceedingly well. So that uh, that's my take, um, and I appreciate the uh, opportunity to do a video for it. So uh, if there's anything else, please let me know.